Larry. Welcome home. Boris, it's good to be home. Did you have a good flight? Very good, thank you. Hello, Dad. Larry, good to see you. Good to see you, Dad. No luggage, Master Larry? Oh, it's all in the car. It's okay, Doris. We'll take care of it later. Yes, Sir John. The place hasn't changed much, has it? Not in the nine years you've been away. <laughs> How's your leg? Uh, it's all right. Some days better than others. That's good. Come inside. Larry, you remember Paul Monfred and Dr. Lloyd? Sure, sure. Nice to see you again, Larry. Nice to see you. Just dropped in to say hello. I think, Paul, you made lieutenant before I left. He's now police captain. Which reminds me, I've got to get back to work. If it's okay with you, Sir John, I'd like to stop by later. Of course. I'll walk out with you, Paul. It's good to have you home, Larry. Thanks. Sir Thanks. John, I'll see you later. It's really great to have you back, Larry. Thanks, Paul. Mm -hmm. So Paul's now police captain. That's great. Yes. Every year, the Talbot Corporation makes a contribution to the police department. Paul and I just have to iron out some details. Dad? I'm sorry about John. Your brother's death was a blow to us all. Part of me is grateful your mother wasn't alive to have gone through it. The shock alone would have killed her. How are you holding up? Losing one of your children could be the worst thing that can ever happen to a person. But being surrounded by good friends like Paul Monfort and Dr. Lloyd helps. I'm here too, Dad. I know. But isn't it sad that it took a hunting accident and your brother's death to bring us together? Come on, it's not like that. You know I couldn't stay around here. I had to get out of here, find something else for myself. In California, I was Lawrence Talbot, not the son of Sir John. I suppose it's partially my fault. You resented the fact that I paid more attention to John in regards to the corporation. Look, I didn't come back here to revisit a past that neither of us are too proud of, nor can change. Very well. Let's decide it right now, you and I. Let's leave the past in the past and move forward. Okay, okay, good. Now, I got some things I gotta take care of with the corporation. Why don't you go upstairs while they will have dinner? We can well, discuss everything. Actually, I was gonna look up Gwen and maybe surprise her, okay. if, if that's okay. That's fine. Okay. Larry. Jenny, it's open. You're here early. You must really want to know your future. Sure. Hello, Gwen. Larry? What are you doing here? <laughs> It's good to see you again. It's good to see you. I thought you'd never come back. What happened? Oh, this? A car accident a couple years ago. My friend here helps me get around nowadays. Larry, I heard about your brother's hunting accident. I'm really sorry. Thanks. Thanks. How's your father doing? Oh, he's okay. I mean, as good as he could be doing under the circumstances. I'm actually living with him now. Oh? Yeah, we, uh, we've been talking the last month or so, and uh, we patched things up, made amends. Well, that's good. So it wasn't hard tracking you down. I always knew you could never leave this town. Larry, how come you never called while you were gone? Well, I guess I thought it would be easier if I didn't. I mean, I never thought I would come back here, and I knew you would never come out to California with me. I had to finish school. I had a job lined up. I couldn't just pack up and start over. I know, I know. I, believe me, I'm sorry for the way I left. But with all that was going on with me and my father, I just had to get out of here. You did what you had to do. Not a day went by where I didn't think about you or regret the decision of leaving you behind. <laughs>